a buzzword. It's something that we need to know that there is a wide range of lots of types of different anxiety. And that's important for us to help and educate our children about as well in, in the, the way that. that I would have liked. Um, and I can't feel guilty about that, and nor should you if that resonates what with you. Because them important. over time with responses to, to that is that you care, you're empathic, which we'll talk about and watch a video about shortly. Yeah, as much as possible, try and let them know that you want to be there. Now, at first, because they're being very explosive, this is very hard, and I, I really empathise with you because I have walked this path. Um, so another amazing and very, very useful coping strategy is problem solving. So we want our children to be able to problem solve well, worry. Again, that's an actual based worry because it's current. It's not what if my friend is going to die from coronavirus. It keeps different. us safe, but sometimes it goes off for a bit of burnt toast instead yeah. of a fire. Yeah, but so Jen, the age gap between your two are similar to my children. How did you give your son the time he needed? My daughter is two and I struggle to find time for my eight year old, especially more evident now we are at home. So we talked about how physical and emotional development are intrinsically linked to and working in adult services, adult mental health services, with any new patient that's referred into my service, the first thing I always do is get them to create a relaxation See kit. You, I love you so much. Have a snack ready, have a little routine for when you pick them up so he knows exactly what's going to happen. Thank you for joining us. It's so lovely to have you here with us and deliver this session. This is one of our favourite sessions because there's so much information that we can that we can get over to you and deliver. But if